Welcome to watch the Hydraulic Shock Absorber Installation Tutorial. The Hydraulic Shock Absorber features 20 adjustable settings. For flat roads, turn it to fast for a softer ride. On rugged off-road terrain, switch to slow for firmer support and grip. Easily adjust it to match any road condition for an enhanced riding experience. To disassemble the A-type tie rod, you need to heat it first. Heating for 3 minutes. Recommended temperature 450 degrees Celsius. Use an M4 wrench to remove the inner screws and use an M6 wrench to fix the outer side to remove the A-type tie rod. To prevent the screws from being damaged, please use the M6 wrench to loosen the screws first, then use the M4 wrench to remove them. After removing the screws and the turn limiter, turn the M6 wrench and pull outward to remove the A-type tie rod. This part will test your patience a bit. Please don't be anxious. To prevent wear, it is recommended to place soft pads to isolate. Flip the whole part over and remove the original shock absorber. We need to heat the screws to 450 degrees Celsius and set the time for 3 minutes. After heating, use two M5 hexagon wrenches to remove the upper fixing screws of the shock absorber. Disassemble the other side in the same way. After flipping it over, we start to disassemble the fixed part of the other side. We continue to heat these screws this time setting the temperature to 400 degrees Celsius for two minutes. Use an M4 wrench to remove the screws. Friendly reminder, before using an electric wrench, you should first use a regular wrench to loosen the screws and then disassemble them to avoid damaging the screws. Remember to clean the residual glue after disassembly to ensure the tightness of the screws when reinstalling. Press down here to remove the original shock absorber. Rotate the adjusting ring to remove the original springer. Turn the adjustment knob to the end of fast. Install the original spring that you just removed. Pay attention to the direction of the gasket when installing it and turn the adjustment ring to lock them. Please pay attention to the position of the gasket notch when installing. This is very important. Use the hexagon wrench to adjust the distance between the mounting holes to ensure that the bolts can be installed into the holes. Here we need to install new parts and cannot use the original parts. Install a fixing screw for temporary fixation. All screws of the shock absorber need thread glue to fix them. Lock them all tight. Turn it over. Congratulations on your upcoming victory. Apply thread sealant to the remaining screws and tighten them all. If an electric wrench is used, manual correction is required again.
Install the A-type tie rod by using a long shaft screwdriver or other objects to help align the screw holes. When installing, please use both hands to cooperate. Reapply thread glue to the screws, install the steering limiter, and tighten them to win. The installation ends here. Thank you for watching.